Okay, so one of the first projects that I want to start, which I already have started, is um, a radio backpack. I wanted a battery pack and a radio pack all in one, something fairly portable that potentially could go onto your back that I could put in VHF, UHF and HF radio in. Okay, and potentially some antennas on the top as well. Now, one of the ideas I had was looking on the internet. Let me just show you this picture. See that backpack there? Something similar to that. And I wanted something that would house the radios and keep the radios pretty kind of safe and well protected. Um, the radio equipment I've got is quite expensive and I don't want to be bashing it around if I can help it. I want something that I can throw in the back of the car, or place in the back of the car, use from the boot, with everything all self-contained, still sealed in. Uh, yes, something that potentially I could just grab, take out, throw into a backpack and take to a location. So that picture you just seen there is one of the ideas that I've had. So I've based this next idea on that. So let me show you. Okay, so this is it. This bit of copper piped framework, this is going to potentially hold my radio gear. Now this is just using 15mm copper piping, plumbing piping, um, with the appropriate joins, cut to size and then soldered. Now I've not done a brilliant job of soldering these because you don't need to put um, a normal electronics, electrical type soldering iron. You have to use a proper flamethrower, Bunsen burner, Bunner thing and proper proper thick solder and it's not as simple as you'd imagine it to be but I've had a go and it's okay for what I want it for it's just about strong enough and held together the idea is got a bit of a shelving thing going on you see so the top part I can have radios bottom part I can have amplifiers burners tuners and the such like and potentially once it's finished um, Lower this down. Once it's finished, uh, the radio is going to be in the top part there, bottom part for the amps, tuners, um, have a, an aerial mount there and an aerial mount here. Potentially this side here could be for VHF, UHF, this one could be for HF. Um, so not yet decided but I'm going to just improvise and see how it gets on. Now the idea, and I kind of measured it out, um, let me show you here. This is the radio that I'm going to be using. It's my Yaesu FT857D. Um, this is going to be slid into the top. Now, the one thing I've got to do yet, which I'm hopefully going to get done tomorrow, is I'm going to cover the sensor poles here, these sensor sort of tubes, uh, with some metal, some sheet metal, to cover that to make a proper shelf. Because this radio is going to be sat on the top shelf all the way to the left hand side like so then underneath fast to the bottom part of the shelf is going to be my tuner this is a Z100P uh, or Z100 Plus auto tuner this is for HF uh, that's going to be mounted to the bottom part of the shelf just underneath like so um, the radio is going to be pushed back just enough so as it's not going to sort of protrude the front of these two parts here. So potentially you're going to have quite a lot of mechanical protection for the radio. So that's what that's going to do. The next thing, radio equipment. Bear with me. Now I'm going for, I'm going for light got to be light and I want something that's going to be nice and light and small. This is a uh, online amplifier, inline amplifier, which is going to be situated uh, underneath here. Again fastened underneath, it might have to be turned upside down just so it can fasten onto the, uh, the bottom part of the shelf there, next to the tuner. This is going to be for the CB radio. Now the CB of choice is the CRT1. Now I'm going to be doing a review on this radio very shortly. It's an absolutely fantastic radio. It's only cost £39, or in fact about £37 delivered uh, off a place of eBay. Um, and I have to say I'm very, very impressed. AM, FM 
it's got all the European frequencies on as well uh, and it's absolutely tiny. Now I can't show the radio at the moment because uh, the radio is currently in the car being used um, but to give you a clue that's the size of the bracket can you see that so if you look at that size of the bracket and compare it to a radio bear with compare it to a current CB that I use at the moment, one of my older ones and that's the bracket for the new one so as you can see it's a lot smaller so this bracket will fit alongside the 857 and it will fit just nicely just there can you see that? so radio equipment at the bottom tuner and amp there and that's the idea now, battery pack. Now this is always one of the bigger problems what we're going to do for battery power because normally I use um, sealed lead acid batteries. Now the problem with those are that they're very heavy. Uh, they're tough and they're very very forgiving if you charge them incorrectly or don't have a constant charge of power supply. It's very forgiving but the problem is it's just the weight and the amount of power you get from them to give you what you want. So another purchase, this again is from eBay, but you can get them from other places other than eBay. It's a high power car jump starter. Now it's very clever, it comes with two USB outputs there, it comes with a separate auxiliary output which gives you 19 volts or 16 volts or 12 volts it's got a seatbelt cutter, just that side, a window smasher, this side, um, and potentially, if you switch the device on, flash it, it gives you some nice coloured light, so I guess in an emergency you could place this on your vehicle uh, to uh, warn other road users of a hazard. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, you might uh, be in trouble for impersonating uh, police officer or emergency services. Um, but it has got a torch on as well, which is not a bad torch. Um, but the main part about this that I like is the engine starter. Now, it comes with this lead here. Now, forget about that lead that I've put on. That did have crocodile clips on, but I've ripped those off. You would plug this into your power supply, like so. You then connect that to your car and it would jump start your car for you. Now I've never actually tried that, um, but the reviews that I've seen um, on YouTube are quite good and apparently it's quite effective. Um, the power of this battery, it's stated to be 50,800 milliamp hours and it claims to be able to start a current of 300 amps. Now, from what I've seen, yeah, it can start a car. I've seen it on, on some films, but I don't know how well it would do like a diesel engine or something slightly larger. But I don't want it for that. The purpose that I have is for, as a battery pack for radio equipment. It's extremely light. As you can see, it's nice and small. Um, and the idea is that this is going to be situated in the back of this device, most likely on the shelf there, which is going to power all the radios together. This is a, quite a nice one to charge up as well because it's got like a, an input socket there for a 12 volt supply. Um, it comes with a house charger and it comes with a 12 volt auxiliary charger for your car. So potentially this device can be, or this charger can be plugged in all the time um, and you can have a nice easy socket to the back of the radio pack which can be connected to either your car to charge it up from your car for your mobile uh, or from a solar panel. Um, so that's something that I'm looking forward to trying out properly. I have used the radios being supplied from this. Uh, I've been out um, in the car and I've just connected everything directly to this um, battery pack and I've had several hours and it's not really made much of a dent 
on the battery levels. So uh, I'm really hopeful that that's going to be um, a good little power supply to use. So that's going to be something that's going to be uh, sort of worked on over the next uh, few few weeks, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's all to come. The only thing I want to be able to do now is to find a rucksack or some sort of backpack that this will fit into. Now the backpack that I'd envisaged putting this in um, doesn't quite fit. It's a little bit too big. Um, I guess I should really have measured the backpacks first. However, I wouldn't really want to have gone any smaller in size because then it wouldn't fit my radios in. So um, that's something I need to work on and I'll be looking at that as well. But the main thing is to get this done. I need to smooth off a few sort of rough edges, give a bit of a clean up and that's something I'll be doing very soon. So um, please follow me and come back for that and um, we'll have a review very very soon of that CRT1 radio. Okay, thanks for watching. In my next video, hopefully this will be completed with a shelf and you'll see things being mounted. So I'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.